Kentucky Wildcats, and the first game of the week against the Dominican National Select Team. And with that, we welcome you inside Baja Mar Resort as we get set for game number one in the national championship. John Calipari taking a passive role in this one. He'll be up there with Bruiser Flint and company uh, throughout the week watching in his 14th season as Kentucky's head coach. If he can get Oscar Shibwe and others involved to be a national championship contender, that would be the biggest payoff. The biggest thing I see right now is you and I have a better seat than John Calipari in this game. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the first time ever. Enjoy it while we can. He's going to delegate those responsibilities to Orlando Antigua. But you're right. I mean, Oscar Shibwe is surrounded by some great talent, and him being a willing leader I think allows this team to mesh very quickly. Okay, so it's an opportunity for Orlando Antigua, second year back with the Kentucky program, now the associate coach. And, Former head coach for the Dominican national team. I know you spent some time talking to him about that program, one he's very close to and proud of. Absolutely. I mean, he, he's got a number of players on the opposing team that he has become really close with, that he's coached at Illinois, and so a lot of familiarity there. He's not only looking for, but he thinks they have great opportunity to do so. And he said, that's the difference when you get to the NCAA tournament with Final Four national championship teams. And he's challenged three. That's an interesting story. Talk about that in a moment. But he said, when you get to the tournament, you have to have guys who are stoppers and shot blockers. And it's not just the bigs that provide that for this Kentucky team. Ooh, beautiful pull up from Damian Collins. I haven't seen that. Collins starting at the four. Here's the first look. Antonio Reeves, and he drops it down. Transfer from Illinois State, who played his high school ball a couple spots, but mainly at Simeon in Chicago. Well, nice, quick decision. Because when I watched his old clips from a year ago, I mean, he's a guy that really is kind of ball dominant, a volume shooter, but he's not going to be able to just bounce it 10 times in a possession in this type of offense with all his town around him. Wheeler to Shibwe. That is a combination John Calipari is looking for. He's, we're going to be playing with the, uh, the Hornets uh, over the summer league, and, and here he is representing the ball. And he got his hand on that one as Wheeler tried to get it to Oscar. Another loose ball. Dominican team gets it, and here's Familia inside. Jose the Republic has only gotten off four shots. They've also turned it over four times. Here's Martinez. The jumper. Ryan Martinez-Zill is undecided whether or not he'll be on the roster for that one. Rebound by the freshman Livingston from Akron, Ohio. Here's Wallace. And that one rejected. He timed that well, did 31. Nice sidestep here, but didn't see that second off-ball defender. Give me that. What I love about his story, you know, he transfers in from Rhode Island, was supposed to redshirt, but they needed him. And so he says, OK, no problem, I got you. And then last year, it's like, hey, you're not going to be a star for us. I need you to be the energy guy. He's like, I got oh. you. Oh, <laughs> plays like that. We saw that in the SEC tournament. 42 and a half inch burn. Woo. And a nice finish from the freshman Wallace running the floor. I mean, that is sensational. Hoppin is just going to get all the way across there. What did he tell you? Is that uh, vertical? Is that around 46? 6'9, 205. Spent time working out with his brother and Paul George out in California before his draft workout, and Lance Ware goes above the rim. Well, his identity is on the defensive end, and that is not an insult to what he can do offensively. But just be that bulldog. I mean, I, I look at him, and I think of the great nickname. These guys are going to hold each other accountable just by the sheer talent and the options that Coach Cal has to choose from. Loose ball. And you see Tana has it blocked. Another big Kentucky rejection. It was Damian Collins with the spring that time. Here's Shibwe back in the game. Big O left it short. He's had a busy couple of days. Very profitable. Colome with the finger roll. Spacing. If he can be a threat out there, because that's the one question mark I see on this Kentucky team offensively is can they make defenses respect them on the perimeter? And if you can get your big guys to draw that attention out, it's just going to open up those driving lanes. Kick him on a feed from Sheepway. He seemed really coachable in practice. I think his offense is further along than his defense just because of all the new principles that they're teaching right now. But, man, he's a quick study about not letting it stick and quick decisions. 
Dominican got late in that shot clock. Here's Collins. Drive. Oh, oh, my God. Wow. From outside the lane. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> Can you be number one on Sports Center in a preseason exhibition game? I say yes, <laughs> Damian Collins. No fly zone. Stay on my airspace. Number four. Get him. Make what he represents, how he's trying to uh, give back in the community. And so it's not just because he's a star at Kentucky. It's because of all the other things that he represents. Oh, and he can do that, too. Kids in the neighborhood welcoming him as the American. <laughs> I recommend Kyle Tucker's reading the athletic. Absolutely. Fantastic. Terrific Here's article. Nice breakaway and a finish by Casey Wallace. I'd say he'll have an article coming soon. Enjoy. By the way, this guy can get up and can finish. Kentucky's Casey Wallace, a name you need to learn going forward. It's a Cats by 15. Chris Livingston out of Oak Hill before starting his career at Akron. He's a big LeBron fan. He's been my imagine. There he is, just doing what the scouting report says. Ice that ball screen, which means don't let the ball handler get to the screen. Nice job of doing that. Shot clock winding down. Feliz leaves it short. Freshman Livingston will push it ahead. Here's where he's got Collins. And able to use his length to get it there. It didn't go. It's a Kentucky team that was 150th in the country in tempo last year, even though they were an elite team from an offensive rating standpoint. Ken Palm had him fifth best in the country in offensive adjusted efficiency, but the promise is that they're really going to get up and go. And if Chris Livingston can do that, he'll be on the floor a ton. That just makes life easier for all the penetrators on the team when you can spread that defense out. Going back to a year ago, they had so many of those pieces just banged up. Helen Grady, of course, was hurt towards the end of the year. Clock winding down, familiar with the turnaround. He'll get a late bucket for the Dominican. A 43, at 48%. Cats nailed four threes. Most of those coming from Reeves. He went three of four from behind the arc. And there's a good start to this one. And Livingston gets it in. Future movie star, Universal Studios. As a basketball movie coming out, shooting stars, he's in it. How cool is that? Yeah. Contested three off the mark. Oh, nice. Here's where. Are you kidding me? Let me sit on the side of the backboard. Kentucky trying to push it again. Here's Collins. Oh, and he did it again. It's like a repeat of the first half. And he can't help but smile going down the court. I, I tried to tell these boys, don't jump. Get out of the way. You better make a business decision when four comes at you. More useful to wearing a swim cap. Here's Frederick with a shovel ahead. Now Wallace, two-hand jam. Uh, the Kentucky fans who showed up here in the Bahamas are getting a show tonight, especially here in the second. The international style can certainly be different from a ball screen standpoint. Yeah, I thought one of the things on the defensive side, too, to piggyback on that was, oh, hey, just a crash. We've had some Perez flying in and just athletes falling hard. But Here's C.J. Frederick for three. And Collins with the rebound. Hamstring issue last year. But they're going to need him down the stretch, so they're going to have to limit those minutes throughout the season. Wallace stroke behind the arc while playing at Iowa. Here's Wallace. He rolls it home. They're just such a yeah. and, and the versatility. And I think one of the keys to the versatility is this guy right here, top. I mean, he can play the, the two, the three for you. Michigan State to win the national championship. Tyler Hansborough's numbers might not have been as good as the previous year. Advantage of nearly 10 a game that led the country. And of course, mostly thanks to Shibwe. Reeves dishes. Shibwe finishes. First round exit. But again, the only way you can get that tempo. Woo, one way to finish above the rim. 
is getting roster when you had the heartbreak against a team like St. Peter's that Buckle these guys up. know what it's like. Whoa! <laughs> what was that? Take him top with a 360 and he forced it in. Wheeler with the steal. See Toppin stayed away out in the wings. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to follow you to try and get a lob. You just take it yourself. Yeah, and he's just laughing on the way back. Like, uh, you know, I really didn't execute that 360. Here he is. Checks the defender, starts to turn. <laughs> just figures out where he is in the air. Man, this kid is something special. Well, hold on a second. Your dad is fluent. And he said, yeah, but mom never spoke it. We didn't speak it at home. And he's got a coach who directed the team in Spanish today. He wasn't 100% sure of what they're yeah, He just had a human nature. is about to turn and start waving. <laughs> you know, just assuming it was for him. I do Fierro at Kentucky, but that's where he is. He was 5'9 as a high school freshman. 6'5 when he was state player of the year, his senior year. He's added more to that now, and they say his growth plates are wide open. Well, I mean, the kid was... They all turned to their assistants and said, wait, how come you haven't brought this kid to me? What, Kentucky's <laughs> offered him, yeah, and we right. haven't? Oscar point blank. Yeah, nice play. Collins wanted it out front. Shibway oh, oh, oh. with the gift. 2.75 million dollars in NIL already, right? Well, that in a lot of places, it's going to lead to jealousy. Not with this guy. He's, he's so likable. But whether there's money involved or not, I mean, jealousy and egos is something coaches have been having to manage the arrow. since the beginning of time. And so that can be... Who's on the billboard? Who's on the back of my day was Drew Fierro. Uh, kid keeps growing. He may have grown an inch since half court. He keeps flying. Some great plays right now.